Okay, let's see how that all sounds. Hey everybody, it's Jason from Geek Culture and I'm testing on my mic and everything. So just let me know if you're in the chat, if it sounds good or not. Um, <clears throat> my voice is going to be a little low because both the kids are sleeping in this area. And uh, that's another reason why I do Indie Spotlight. Oh, thank you, X-Wing. Uh, oh, thank you for hosting my stream. I greatly appreciate it. That's awesome. Thank you so much. No, I am streaming solo. Uh, I am um, streaming on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash geek culture. That's G33K culture. And I'm also on twitch.tv. Um, thank you, geek culture, for liking the stream. I'm also on geek culture, or geek culture, uh, geek culture live. You can buy merchandise and, and donate to the channel and all that cool stuff until Facebook decides to uh, give us our, our things back. And then you can also uh, find me on twitch.tv slash geek underscore culture. It's the, that way. If you're looking at my screen, it's over there, all the stuff in the middle. It's the middle one. And then I have a Twitter, which I think I doubled up on the, on the, the Twitch one, which I did not mean to do. That should probably be my YouTube one. So, oh no. Oh, let me. This is just, that's what I get. Okay, so I'm going to transition them not being there. And there we go. Baby stirring a little bit, so that's fun. Oh, yeah, so thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys sharing it and doing all that cool stuff. Indie Spotlight, if you have not watched it before, is... Thank you, Dale. Uh, Indie Spotlight is where I... <laughs> Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Any spotlights where I play a game for 30 or 45 minutes or an hour, depending on how much I like it. Uh, they're usually from like Game Pass and stuff like that. Not saying that they support us, but if Xbox, you want to support me, Geek Culture uh, Podcast at gmail.com, you can see all my stuff. It's everything's in the descriptions and all that kind of things to get a hold of me. So if you'd really want to, uh, we will support you because I play the crap out of Game Pass, even though I'm a huge you know, PlayStation guy before. But uh, your Game Pass is fantastic, so keep it up, guys. Uh, Children of Morta have been wanting to play for a long time. I love roguelikes. This is a roguelike uh, about a family, apparently. You don't, um, you don't, there's no, like, permadeath or anything like that. So, uh, I'm not really sure. Yeah, Skibbity is fantastic. Uh, Skibbity by Little Big. They do a lot of really good music. My screen keeps messing up so i'm gonna see if that's hopefully oh god what the hell is happening there <clears throat> none of this looks good oh margaret awoke startled a cold sweat clinging to her that's not good she gathered her thoughts oh thank you ace man for sharing the stream appreciate it brother I'm trying to get our stars back but if you want to uh if you want to uh, help support the channel, you can go to geekculture.live and donate to the channel. So thank you very much. Okay, so I gotta. I'm so sorry about this freezing up. I have no idea why it keeps doing that. Near the house stood a shrine to Rhea Dana. Rhea Dana. Okay. So this is on Game Pass. If you're looking to get it, they. Uh, don't keep things on Game Pass forever, but you do get a lot of free cool stuff. So check it out. Every single Thursday is when I generally tend to do these videos. Uh, I've done a couple this week, but I'm going to be doing them a lot on Thursdays because that's when all the free games come out. And you should check out Epic Games if you have a PC because they give away free games every single Thursday as well. Epic Games, if you want to support us, we'd greatly appreciate that. You got Fortnite money, so you know you can do it. But you can also support us like uh, Josh did, our newest patron at patreon.com slash geek culture that's g33k culture let me know how the sound is everybody i'm just gonna go ahead and skip this i'm i love story and i love all that kind of stuff but i'm limited on the amount of time that i have and uh this horrible whining noise i can hear in my headset i hate having to charge this okay cool and got it so uh it has uh, rpg elements uh it's a hack and slash though apparently
Uh, if you're watching this over on Twitch, I apologize. I can't see what you're saying. Um, but anything that you do to support us, we greatly appreciate. I try to map the controller to this, but I don't know if it's going to let me. Uh, so I am just going to go ahead and click with my mouse and play it like I wish uh, it was like a Diablo style. But it looks kind of like it is. So left shift is my shield. Okay. And then I click to attack. Got it. Sounds good. Yeah, if you're over on Twitch, like I said, I apologize. I can't see what you're currently saying because uh, I have my stuff open to Facebook. We're getting more on Twitch, so make sure you go over to Twitch and uh, and follow. We only got a few followers over there, but our Facebook, we have we have an obscene amount of followers, and we greatly appreciate it. We're working towards 1,500, and we thank you. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support that you've given us over the years. It first appeared as sludge given life, slithering creatures, small and vile. <clears throat> John used his sword to attack foes. John used his sword to attack foes. Got it. Oh, I just immediately run into them. <laughs> Yeek. So, can I... So, I can, like, move while I'm slashing. It's just, like, very little. Uh, the combat's interesting so far i know i've only fought a couple of things but we'll see how when i fight bigger guys it looks like it's going to be a tough game yeah if you're just joining me this is called indie spotlight it's a show where i play for 30 minutes to an hour because my kids don't nap that long and i give uh, indie games a chance because you should there's a ton of really amazing indie games that are out there uh, AAA games have not been doing it for me for a while now. I used to love them. I'm not saying I don't. I'm not going to be that guy that's just like, oh my god, I don't know. No, it's cool, man. Like whatever you like. First off, oh, let's just make that clear. I just dropped the controller. Okay, cool. She's still asleep. Let's make that perfectly clear. Anything that I say about video games is not a personal slight on you at all or uh, your interest. It's just I don't care for certain things, and that's totally fine. We need to... We need to get that across to each other. It is not a personal slight on you whatsoever. We just like what we like. I like Little Big. You should look them up. They're a Russian techno-ish band, and they're fantastic. But 90% of the people who like them probably wouldn't think the same thing. All right, so I'm going to hit space bar to evade. Ooh. So when they're attacking, I just hit the space bar, and I'll evade them. Ooh. A little bit of the bubbly. Ooh, look at that creepy bastard. Ooh. Nice. So it is pretty fluid. This art style I really like. I don't. I know. I know we're gonna say retro, but it's not really the retro art style. It kind of looks like the old like rotoscope uh, animation, which I love. Uh, but I don't know. This art style is really prevalent in in indie games. But yes, you should definitely check out indie games. There's so many good ones. Uh, I'm gonna continue this series. I played Neon Abyss, and I've also played. Uh, Undermine, which both were really fun games. I had a ton of fun playing Undermine. You can go check those out on Facebook.com slash GeekCulture. That's G33K Culture. Uh, I'm going to be live streaming these a lot. Usually on Thursdays, like I said. Indie Spotlight is so much fun to get to play these games. I, I don't get to play a ton of games anymore because I have kids and family and life. And even though we run this channel, which is also on YouTube.com slash GeekCulture. That's G33K Culture. I don't get a chance to play games that often. Just stopped Facebook to tell you that I didn't know you can't see Twitch chat. I'm hosting you there and can hear you fine. Thank you very much, Jennifer. I greatly appreciate you uh, you sharing it. I'm going to get a setup to where I can see my Twitch and everything and, and all that good stuff. And we are getting all that help through our patrons. Josh, thank you for the new $10 donation. You get to pick the movie that it's going to be on our watch along. And I can't wait to see what you're going to choose. Special ability uses shield to block incoming attacks. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't know why I'm not using that more. Oh, yeah, I'd rather just evade. It seemed to work better for me. Okay, so it's pretty one-dimensional, the... The, uh... <clears throat> the fighting and everything, but, you know, it's the very beginning of the game, so we're gonna give it what we can. Then make sure you head over to twitch.tv slash geek underscore culture. It's so confusing. Geek underscore culture. Just go to Twitch, type in 
G33K underscore culture. And make sure you go follow me there and give me some love. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, so this is a pretty cool game. I can't wait to get to the uh, gemstones. Requ ch uh, chests require a gemstone to open. Gemstones are found in different places like animal corpses. Ooh, yum. Ooh, this so happens to have one. Ooh, look at this thing. Atar's Ignition, a divine grace. Damage enemies, burn and fire. Cool. So I just got a buff. Damaged enemies will burn. Ooh, you, you have to be the one. One more dangerous than those that came before. Yes, no, I have them both set up, but I am not in a dual monitor right now. So if I, oh crap, if I wanted to see the chat, uh, then I would have to um, alt tab this, and yeah, I just don't have the setup for. Oh. Uh, gain experience to kill. Oh, cool. So I leveled up. Yeah, so I don't have this set up right now to once I get another monitor Then it'll be all sweet. Uh, if you want to help us get that you can go to our patreon.com slash geek culture <laughs> But yeah, once I get the second monitor set situation set up I will uh, I'll be able to check back and forth and see the chat and all that cool stuff OBS is a fantastic program. They have just increased their uh, prime subscription. So thank you for that, but they're a great platform any skill point when you gain enough experience spend skill points i i think people know how to play rpgs by now but i greatly appreciate you telling me how to play the selected games uh, selected abilities description can be seen on the right panel press square okay cool uh well no well so you're gonna make me use it okay heaven strike call swords down from heavens upon john's enemies i guess i'll accept it Ooh, i can't get more okay so this is going to be my right click Mm, can I have some enemies to use this on? Ooh, that's disgusting. You poor animal. Oh, poor little. Uh, thing. Ra rab rabbit. They're not letting me check it, animal courses. Yeah, I understand. <sighs> Shit. Wow, I got wrecked. Oh. What's that mean? Okay. So there is no permadeath, just so you know. You get transported back. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. I'm not a big fan of the pointing system in this to block and do all that kind of stuff. I, I'm, I don't know why. I'm not a huge fan of it. Jeez, that poor little sloth man. Oh, you dick. Inherently violent and ill-bane, the goblins were an unfocused and constant threat. Yeah. So what did I? Okay, I didn't come over here for anything. Right on. <clears throat> this is magnificent, but dangerous. A land a cool of little, unfound, cool little lost. design. So I can only do it. Ah, there's a little meter for it right there. So that's my. Got it. Okay. And that's my heaven strike, which has a 10 second cooldown. Ooh, golden door. Right? Ooh, pretty. Oh, that's my spine. Alright, let's bring you up a little bit. See if I can work on the old posture. Oof. So if I. Nope, so it won't let me go through it. Oh, go door. I think it is. I think it's got two-player local co-op. I don't know if it has online co-op, 
but I believe it says that it has a local co-op. There was another game I was looking at that's also the same way, so I'm not sure. So I wonder if... Okay. I wonder if this means... Oh, yeah, see, that's probably where it is, where the co-op comes in. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. I hate that it does this. Ah, it does that quite often. It drives me crazy. All right, I'm going to go to full screen and see if it messes it up. Because yeah, when I... Uh, it tends to happen. Let me just make sure this is not messing up on me. Do, do, do. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're having a lot of fun watching me play Children of Morta. It's a really cool game. If you're over on Twitch.tv, you can uh, head on to my Facebook at facebook.com slash geekculture. <laughs> There's probably links or something in the uh, in the page. Cool, looks like it's fine. All right, so electric, <laughs> electric hot. I can't say it. Apocalypse, electric apocalypse. Nope, not doing it. Uh, creates a temporary or that damages nearby enemies. Righteous. Yeah, I know. I'm using it right now. Oh, poor little thing. Do, do, do. Oh, posture. No slouching. If I'm slouching, tell me. Comment. Hey, no slouching. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. That's how these things are made? You, you, you need to die. Everything in this area needs to die. Well, except for the, the animals, but... Ugh. You, you monsters. Yep. Okay. Is it electric? Boogie woogie woogie. Electrocopolips. Ooh, I got a 10G achievement for investigating the shine of Aurea. The ancient tree had been cut down. Together, father and daughter described the horror. Daughter. Let's see if I can go over to my Twitch. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> Sorry. And the Bergson's duty was to stand against this devouring deluge of death. This devouring deluge of Kent death. was also eager to do his part in the family's fight. Especially when his older brother Mark was off somewhere. He was as much a guardian of their mountain home as any of them. Yeah. She stood. If they were to reach this like the a... summit and destroy this evil. As it like a guy's just reading a book. Like, it doesn't sound like he's narrating. You know if that makes any sense? It doesn't sound like you're narrating it. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and skip that.
Oh no, I don't want to do that. Holes of Anaridaya must be here. The Silk she Taverns. Oh, that's cool. So I get to play as a bunch of different characters. Mm, you know what? Should I go with Linda or should I go with John? I'm going to leave that up to you guys. And while I do that, I'm going to drink my drink. Yes, please bring the ring light. That would be fantastic. Oh no, why does it say I'm having an issue? Be right back, my butt cheek. What did you do? Oh, give me a break with this. It's because I opened something. It's like, what are you doing? I'm going to be right back nonsense. Do, 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 do. Sorry, everyone. Just trying to see what the problem is. I'm only directly connected to my internet. <laughs> All right. I'm going to chick. Chick. <laughs> I'm gonna pick the chick. Linda, tagging you in. A celestial shard chipped directly from the ancient crystal in the sanctuary. It would be the person's lifeline, a tether to pull them back home before death's fateful whisper. A whisper. So do we always run together? Because if that's two Z's, then it's definitely gonna be a, a co-op game. So this is this is a fun game. I'm not gonna say I don't enjoy it. The narration though is kind of driving me a little crazy because it's more of a show me, please show me more than tell me. I get it. Uh, you don't have to describe every little thing that's happening in the game. Let's just bring the characters in. Let them walk in. I mean, she's writing her bow. I get it. And you want to add atmosphere, but I think the games like this, the uh, the atmosphere just kind of lends to itself. You don't really need to add these kind of descriptions. Not that it's bad. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not. I mean, I love RPGs and everything like that. I don't, I don't know. Using her bow, Linda takes out her enemies from a distance. You can use the... Yeah, see, you don't need to tell me that. You could just say, you fire with this. She uses her stamina while moving. Stamina regenerates automatically when it's removed and shoot at the same time. Right? Roger that. Just checking out everything. See how... Oh, so she gets... So she could get two of them, it looks like. So if she moves and shoots, her stamina's going down. But if she just stands... Okay, I do need to start moving, though, whenever I'm on this. So M is my map. You said, Linda, I thought you were doing a voice. I was like, damn. Linda's a butcher. Hey, I'm Linda. What's up? You killed these spiders because I'm Linda. Oh, damn it. Move, Linda, move. All these damn spiders. Keep moving, Linda. Keep moving. Take their piles of gold and their souls. Hey girl, my name. Or I mean, hey girl. Well, I mean, it could be. Hey, my name Linda. <laughs> There's a lot of baddies. She's got a lot of stamina, though. So that's good. Man, they ramped it up with these bad guys. I'm just like, here's a ton of them. God, I'm never going to leave this first room. Whew. Oh, oh, 
god. Oh god. So these are just your regular abominations. They're not like your nasty, uh, uh, like, goop monster abominations. Ooh, I leveled up. I like that. That takes over a shitload of the screen, though. I enjoy this much more than the uh, than the sword, that's for sure. Maybe it's just his abilities. You do get a lot. Is that a, th like, is that, was that something? Like, am I seeing a face in that? Like, is that what this is? Like, what the fuck was this? Yikes, bro, I don't. Whoa, well, whatever's in here killed that. Oh, posture. Ooh, okay. So Linda's a little bit of a badass. I do like the bow. It does make the game much easier. I always had a uh, had a little soft spot for Amazon, so that's what I played in Diablo 2. My Diablo 2 Amazon was amazing. I freaking love that character. You know, this was all God. This is Diablo in 2000, 2001. That that era. I remember going to the GameStop when it was still EB Games. And looking at the box and just absolutely falling in love with it. So much so that I kept the box in the book and everything and I displayed it. I got Lord of Destruction and I displayed that box too. I was such a nerd and I absolutely love those games to death. I cannot wait for the remaster. When the remaster comes out, you will uh You'll uh you'll never see me again. <laughs> it's like with the Tony Hawk one and two that they're doing those. I can't wait. I really hope they have all the same soundtrack. Uh, it's got had like a lot of punk and and ska songs, and I was really into that at the time. And I know like it was the in like the nineties. It was the skater generation, and I never skateboarded in my life. I I BMX a little bit, and not even BMX like a well not not BMX. It was like. I don't know what you would call it. I rode a bike, and I fell off of things, and it was a lot of fun. I used to hang with my buddy Bill. Bill and Ian. Ian Ivy and Phoebe Ivy. Phoebe Ivy is still a, still a good friend of mine. I hope, she's, uh, hope you're doing well, Phoebe, if you're, if you're watching this. Ooh, what's that? Increased critical shot chance. Ooh, charms of magical objects found on the island of Morta. Each one of them has a special effect that can be activated by pressing R. They are consumed after being activated and only carry one charm. Okay, so what's it do? All right, so my skills, I leveled up. So let me see. Decrease the stamina Linda must consume while moving. Or loose an arrow skyward to fall upon Linda's enemies with explosive force. Amazon is death by snoo snoo. That was not her character though, but I, I absolutely love that guy. Oh, and the wind force and the stones of Jordan. And when they did the super evil Matt, Matt Long, God rest your soul, brother. I miss you. Uh, but Matt Long, when he sent me the message on AIM, AOL Instant Messenger, um, he sent me that message on AIM, and he's like, Diablo's in our town. He showed up in Act 1, because when you turned in the Stone of Jordans, because everybody was hacking it so much, it would trigger uh, like a world event, and somebody would be lucky enough to get him in his server, and he was the person that did. So we went there and fought him, and it was an amazing experience, and I wish it happened now, because then I could stream it, and it'd be, it'd be so much fun to watch. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a great time. So I'm definitely getting some... What the hell was that? Oh, I'm definitely getting some Diablo vibes from this. I like this level a little bit more. The The art style, though, for the characters, the monsters are cool looking. The characters, though, will leave a, leave a little bit to be desired. Maybe I'm just being nitpicky. I, I don't know. Oh, well. I, don't, I just feel like there should be more to it. What the hell is this? Will they not go in it? Or No, they'll definitely go in it. Okay, so let me... Does that... Okay, I think that pauses him. So I need to be level 4. Ooh, it'll damage up to 160. Hmm. 
No, it's, oh, oh, so I need two for that. Okay, that's fine. About 30 minutes into the stream. Yeah, I'll probably keep playing this for just a little bit longer. See if, uh, with these kind of games, you got to give them a little bit of time. I didn't think, I, I knew it was going to be an RPG, but I didn't know how involved. So generally, 30 minutes to an hour gives you a good idea for games that are like your roguelike action RPGs. This one's a little more, well, maybe not all roguelikes, okay, roguelikes, but maybe not action RPGs. Action RPGs, you got to give a while. You can't just get into the game, play for an hour, and then be like, well, this game sucks. This game, uh, I'm probably going to have to give a little bit more time if I do come back to it. Uh, and then I will let you know, and maybe I'll stream it, or I'll go back and do a review or play through it or something like that. But we'll see. I really want to go back and play Undermine. I had a lot of fun playing Neon Abyss 2 afterwards. After I got done with Neon Abyss, I really started to appreciate it more. I think it's just because I had such a... The first one I did was... Wow, that's cool. <clears throat> the first one I did was Undermine. And that game is so much fun. And all these games that I'm playing, you can go find on the Game Pass. They are free, as in you have to get Game Pass. But the first month is a dollar, so essentially it's free. Go support them. And if Xbox, you want to support us... We are Geek Culture. That's G33K Culture, not G-E-E-K. Those guys are a different guy. <laughs> G33K Culture. Go support us, and uh, and we'd love to play more of your games because it's so much fun. We're going to play Sea of Thieves soon because Battletoads was remastered and or remade, and it's a three-player game, so Paul, Dale, and I are going to play it. And once you get through Act 1, you unlock a ship for Sea of Thieves. And if you know anything about us, we love Sea of Thieves. So if I hold T, I will Town Portal. T for Town Portal. So it just takes me there. Boop. Got it. Yes, Venom coating. Cool. All right, so what did the object I have get? So does she have any of the other things? Okay, no. So she has increased critical hit chance. That's what that does. Okay, so if I use the R, that's what that's going to give me. All right, moving to a different area, it looks like. Posture. Ooh. So did I finish that one? Oh no. Can I not go back? Oh. Okay. What if I do T? Nope. Okay, righteous. That's weird. Alright, let's see if I can get through this area. And then I will probably call it on this game. A little bit tougher, guys. Oh, no, they're poison. That's what they I got support. Oh, mama, mama spider. My name's Linda. Oh, you can check out some of our other shows, too. If you've enjoyed anything that I've done, you can... Uh, Paul and I have a live interactive podcast that we do every single Friday at... Ooh, cleanse. Uh, every single Friday at 12 p.m. It's called Geek Culture Live. We've been doing it for nearly a year now. It's a lot of fun. We do it every single Friday at noon. We do Space Kings as well, which is a live D&D style uh, game where Paul, Dale, and I and guests play a game called Space Kings. It's a super basic version of D&D where we flip cards. It's a lot of fun. We do that every Monday at 9 p.m. We've done the first two episodes already, so if you want to go and watch them, you should be able to check them out on Facebook.com slash Geek Culture. That's G33K Culture. We do a lot of fun stuff. So just check out all our content. We've done 100 videos on our YouTube. You can watch the 100th video that we did a couple of years ago now uh, called uh, The Prank. It's a lot of fun. Make sure you watch Guns first. That's uh, kind of episode one, but not. It's, it's, it's one of those things where it, it became episode one when uh the prank became episode two i guess is the best way to describe it. it's like split split became episode two at the end of split if if you haven't seen split i'm not gonna ruin it but 
Split becomes episode two at the end of Split. Chance to fire projectiles in different directions upon being hit. Of course. Hell yeah. Thorns. That's like one of my favorite abilities. So she's a pretty wicked chick so far. All right. So there's my map. Let's head down and fight some more beasties. So I got poison arrows. I have a chance to... Oh, oh. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ooh, things are getting intense if you don't hear me. Shoot, 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 shoot. Move. Oh, my God. No. Damn it. Ugh. That felt like a lot longer than 11 minutes. Killed 184 enemies and collected 185 more. Got some gemstones, and I was healed 77. Oh. So it feels like you're suffocating. It's fun. My sweet little daughter's asleep. The puppy fell asleep on a pillow, our ghost pillow. Yeah, you're crippled, one-legged bastard. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben, that's awesome. Can upgrade and enhance the Bergenson's equipment. Okay, so the game's going to open up a little bit here. Like I said, you get in that first hour. Okay. I don't, I don't need the guy to narrate anymore. Can I turn that off? Uncle Ben uses more to upgrade the entire family's weapon and armor, increasing their main attributes. Oh, okay. This is a family main attribute. The selected IP choose. Okay, so cool. Everything's described on the right. Have you ever played this game before? Yes, I have played a game before. Excuse me. Everybody has maximum health increased. Their speed, their agility, their compulsion, their resilience. Did it change the... Okay, cool. I'm just making sure. Alright. So... Okay, that's super freaking sensitive. Oh, okay, okay, let's... Larger HUD, larger UI. Uh, let's try larger HUD. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's just probably going to increase it on the bottom, which I don't know how well you guys can see anyway. The audio is good. Oh, the, yeah, let's turn that son of a bitch down. I don't want to hear you at all. When life faded in the sky and most were asleep. Mary would write about her family. Okay, cool. Yay, Mary. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> you sound like such a dick. I'm sorry, everyone. I just don't care. So divine graces. All the divine graces that we find over time are going to be cataloged. Poor Linda. She is so afraid of a tiny spider. Oh, wow. Is it because... Is it because I got killed by the spider? So it's like throwing that sh you throwing at my face? Why well, you gotta be that way? Uh, what's this? So chapter select. Oh, let's see what the uh, the grandma I think it is is doing. Yeah, make sure you go to twitch.tv/geekculture. It's geek underscore culture. 
greatly appreciate any help that you could give. Support and like and follow and share and go to geekculture.live to buy some of our hats and bags and uh, masks and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I know he can. He already did. So how do, how do I... Peace out. I like this though. It's not smooth. That's the only thing. I have to move very... What the fuck is that? Okay. I like their blend of uh, technology and being yokels. I, don't, I never understood that. It's like, I'll build a power supply into a tree. What? You get okay. <laughs> so the caves, I have to do the caves again. So there's three. What? Three now? Sun is awake. See how that changes things. Yes, yeah, sun. What is all this stuff? Or it's four levels, fourteen levels, twenty levels. So this is all things that I can activate as things go along. Oh, and then I just left click and join. The boy is stirring. His skill level is one. I'm gonna go, Linda. Give it another quick run, and then that is gonna be it for Children of Morta. Hi, baby boy. Hey, yeah, handsome man. All right, so there's three levels of, oh, so is it the same? Looks like the exact same map, okay. I thought it was gonna be randomly generated, but that's okay too. I am a little bit stronger. Bam, get you butt cheeks off of me. Yeah, yeah. So did I not shoot that guy? He just exploded because of how awesome I am. Maybe I do need to increase that stamina while I'm moving. Oh, a gemstone. Got it. That's right. Yeah, da 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 da. You're doing great, buddy. After this, I'm going to put away some laundry, and it's going to be so much fun. And then I'll make dinner. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have. Such a good day. <laughs> that boy ate two bowls of food. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot. But he is a 10-month-old baby who is still on a bottle. But we feed him food, too. And, yes, I'll probably hear about it from someone. If this ever gets famous, which I would love. So if we do get famous, then I'll, be, I'll accept the fact that you're going to criticize the things that I do. Um, but he uh, <laughs> eats so much food. It's nuts. It's nuts. I love that kid. He eats so much food. Now, what the hell does this thing do? Did I miss that in the tutorial? It just pulls me in. That's all. If you're watching this and you remember what this thing does, please let me know. Oh, damn it. Okay, so if I... Oh, so wherever I put it? Is that what that is? Do I not have any gemstones? Oh, son of a bitch. That's two of them that I don't have a gemstone for. What? You're crazy, Bobo. All right, let's go into this room of spookiness. Oh, God, it just, like, explodes. So at level four, I will be able to get move as one. The family moves together, to get, stays together, increasing the entire family's movement speed. She is the firstborn, ever vigilant. So this is all like family stuff? That's cool. A family lifting the spirits and further increasing the entire family's movement speed while weapons are she. All right, so what level am I? I have skill level one currently. So I need to get to skill level two, three, and four. Wow, so I'm not even that. Okay, so I'm going to go with you. 
And yeah, so I will. My stamina won't go down so fast. It's a fun game. I definitely might play it again. Uh, whenever Dale or Paul comes by, and uh, and we can do some co-op to see how we see how we like it. Not a lot of experience for sh for shooting these guys. That's okay. Got him. Oh, ouch. Just pulled, let him pull me right into that. This is a pretty unforgiving game, though. You just don't make mistakes. That's why I like using this character. I'm going to probably focus on character. Just once I get my mage, it's over. If there's a mage character, then that's all I really care about. Oh, God. It's like the little stupid... It's the worst the uh, characters in Diablo, the goblins. And then there's stupid shaman. That Rakanichu. And then fighting Rakanichu. Rakanichu. Where'd you go, you little son of a bitch? Yeah, yeah. Got him. Oh, shoot. Jeez. God, man, once they get you, man, they... God bless it. Oh my god, I have one hit point left. Jeez. This is much harder than I remember it being last the last run. Did I get them all? Oh god. Yeah, if you're just watching me, this is Indie Spotlight, where I play 30 minutes to an hour of an independent game and give it the love that it deserves because a lot of independent games don't get the attention that they deserve. And with Game Pass, you get a free couple of free games every single Thursday. And then Epic Games has a ton of free games that they give away as well. Wow, that's a bunch of dead people. It's disgusting. Epic Games gives away a bunch of free games too, so make sure you check all that stuff out. If you're playing on your PC, you're missing out on a lot of stuff if you're not going to these free sites and just getting their launchers. You just get the Xbox app and you get the uh, Epic Launcher. I got Grand Theft Auto V and Ark and all kinds of awesome games and all these really sweet independence games. And uh, and that's given me the chance to play Indie Spotlight and focus on Children of Morta. I've also focused on Neon Abyss and Undermine. So definitely go check those videos out if you haven't. And make sure you go to patreon.com slash geekculture and youtube.com slash geekculture and facebook.com slash geekculture and just Type in G33K Culture, and you'll find us somewhere. Choker of Illusion. Increased dodge chance. So I'm not going to go downstairs just yet, because I didn't explore all of the map. I need to get some health. Ooh. Do a little. So you can't do that until... Okay, got it. Did I get it? I haven't got any of those gems. I don't remember what gem that is. Oh, okay. So there's all the... Okay. Kevin! I tried to use my controller, but it wouldn't let me. So I'm using a mouse and keyboard right now. Spiders, those damn quick little some bitches. Oh, posture. Just let me know if I start to slouch, everyone. I gotta work on that posture. Probably last for about 10 seconds. Shoulders back. Gotta work on my posture. As you get older, it's not great. Don't get older, anybody. Even in your 20s and 30s, which is not old, you will start to notice that your spine is curving and not in a good way. <laughs> which I don't know if there is a good way. So make sure you work on your posture. Helps out with your tummy, and your back, and any kind of issues you might have. A little bit of friendly advice from Jason at Geek Culture. What's this? 
A table fit for the gods, but a game made for mortals. What? Pong of the gods. That is awesome. That is fantastic. Got him. One more, right? One more? Maybe? Boom. That is so cool. All right, I'll give you this one, game. A companion that stuns enemies? Heck yeah. All right, game. Why couldn't... I should have went this way first. This would have helped me so much. And that's all there is in this room. Not that that's not a great find, but come on. Nope, there's that money that somebody watching this probably screamed at me to grab. Going down, 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 down. The Red Knight's going down. Da -da. Handsome Davy. So mesmerizing their magnificence were found at the end of the long road. I don't care. Yep, I don't know it's at the end of the road, but if it's anything like the road, it's probably nothing and boring. Paul agrees. Yuck. This is gross. Oh, so it's like the last level. Oh, gosh. That. Oh, it's like, what the hell is happening? Oh, he's just going for him. Oh, he just does not mess around. Little stunny dude. Oof. That's going to help me out so much. It's going to make me not have to flipping stuff so much. Try to get out of the way. Oh! <laughs> I just watched the replay back. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I'd be mad too. Ugh. Kevin's need to help all began when his older brother Mark left the house. That's cool. I like that. I love the little animation. He was strong, making any near him feel safe. But he left Kevin. We've left Kevin chewing on a peach. Mm hmm. Would you like a peach? No, Uncle Ben knew what his nephew needed. A bleach. A focal point for his aspirations. I'm the narrator now. This is a sweet little habitat that they live in. Little bubbles talking about what people are doing. If Mark was here, he would be able to convince mother and father. Let's see what we got in the old thingamajig. So I can do warfare, increase the Bergen's base attack damage, increase the Bergen's movement speed. The Bergen's? The Bergsons. Armor up. You know what? I'm going to increase that damage. Work on that old beaten stick. All right. So I think that's going to be it for this. Uh, this has been Indie Spotlight and Child Children of Morta. Thank you for watching. You can also check me out on YouTube and Facebook and Twitch. All at Geek Culture. That's G33K Culture. You can go to geekculture.live and donate to the channel and buy some of our merchandise and watch some of our old videos. And it's got all the other stuff that we do. Uh, it's so much fun doing all this stuff for you guys. You can go to our patreon.com slash geekculture. Uh, patreon.com slash geekculture and become a one five ten or twenty dollar backer you can be like vivian or jake or pablo or Catherine or jennifer or chris or josh or carrick uh i may be forgetting someone but i uh, thank you guys so very much for all that you do 
This has been Indie Spotlight. My name's Jason from Geek Culture. Check me out again when I play another game. Go also go watch uh, Neon Abyss and Undermine.